on chopsticks, worried about the ground. He's bidding for another double. Let's get up to Jerry for the seventh and final time. The meeting's closer. They had Gordon Park one handicap, mile six in front of them. On up the straight, they come the first time. Nanny D taken on by Maver Sam, prominent roomy, also handy. The Greys, Dark Miss on the outside of Dollar Value in the black jacket, followed by Juno. And Charlie Darling in behind the leading line with Tessie Ed and Santa Catarina and the chopsticks as Dark Miss presses ahead, goes on by over two lengths to Juno Mayo for Sam Dollar Value, Charlie Darling Rumi next with chopsticks and Valley of the Eagles on the outside is Game Nation. And then Tessie Yad and Nanny D shuffle back on the inside now near to the rear. And then Santa Catarina, the truant, and Walnut Beach brings up the rear as they turn towards the final 10 furlongs and it's dollar value now taking it up and going on by two lengths to dark mist and charlie darling who's up into third is between the fourth juno and mayo for sam then rumi and chopsticks next and then game nation nanny d tessie at value of the eagle santa Catarina has two behind with just over a mile to go the truant and walnut beach dollar value and james ryan increase the leader a good three lengths over Charlie Darling, Gary Carroll just edging the second from Dark Miss and Jack Carney, and then Juno. Mayo for Sam next with Rumi and then Chopsticks and Tessie Yet and Nanny D the inside, followed by the top weight Game Nation, then Santa Catarina and Valley of the Eagles. The Troon on the outside of the trailing nine Walnut Beach as they reach the halfway stage. Seven furlongs to go and the at Gorham Park one handicap. And out in front is Dollar Value. Leads to the far end of the back straight, Charlie Darling and Dark Miss, and then Juno. Mayo for Sam next was Rumi, and then Chopsticks. Nanny D on the inside of Tassie and then Game Nation, and Santa Caterina, the back three. Our Valley of the Eagles, the Truant, and Walnut Beach. Inside the final six furlongs, and continuing in a lead of four legs, is Dollar Value from Charlie Darling, who moves on two in front of the third running Dark Miss, and then Mayo for Sam. Driven next is Juno and then Rumi and Chopsticks and Nanny D and Tessie Ed and Game Nation and Santa Catarina. Valley of the Eagles is two behind the Truant and Walnut Beach. Racing towards the concluding half mile. Dollar value with a reduced advantage of two and a half lengths over Charlie Darling, then Dark Miss and Juno next, followed by Mayo for Sam. Chop sixes on the heads of the leaders, then Rumi and Tessie and Game Nation next. On the inside, Nanny D, who's followed for home by Santa Caterina, making a forward move as the truant, and then Valley of the Eagles and Walnut Beach. As they tighten up on the turning of the straight, they're at the completion of a circuit, and it is dollar value chased to the final two and a half furlongs by Charlie Darling, Dark Misses next with Rumi. Heading inside the final two furlongs, Dollar Value, the whip's been drawn on the front running Dollar Value from Rumi staying on over the far side with Dark Miss. Valley of the Eagles is arriving late in the pace and then Charlie Darling and Chopsticks next with Walnut Beach as they race inside the final furlong. Valley of the Eagles on the stand side from out the back with Rumi in the centre of the track. These two wide apart going close home. Rumi, Valley of the Eagles. Rumi, Valley of the Eagles. Dollar Value five lengths after them in third and then Walnut Beach and Dartmouth. Yes, another close finish to our final race of the evening. First impressions, Rumi has just held on from Valley of the Eagles. Yeah, it looks like it there as well, doesn't it, Kevin? He just dipped on the line. Valley of the Eagles looks like he was coming with a with a winning run towards the near side, but Rumi has done well. He's taken a